Hello friends, I'm Max Dendy and this is my review and experience with the Steam Deck, both LCD and OLED. I will tell you if it's worth it, which one to buy and how it compares to other handhelds like Nintendo Switch, Asus ROG Ally and Lenovo Legion Go. So I've got interested in Steam Deck simply because I loved my Nintendo Switch and because I was also a PC gamer, it seemed like a dream device for me, for which I already had like 100 games ready in my Steam library. And spoiler, Steam Deck could not replace my Switch. However, it's in so many ways much better. It's more powerful than Switch and has many performance settings like manual tweaking of the power limit, GPU and RAM, as well as various options for image scaling and frame limit. It has much more input options, back buttons, touch screen, motion controls, touch pads, and this little sensors on the sticks which I've never seen before. And the beauty of it is how easy it is to customize it for any game you want, even easier to find custom presets made by other players in the Steam community. But look, you can assign up to 9 actions to each of the touchpads and pick images for them, or you can still use them as a regular laptop touchpads. You can use gyroscope, you can bind macros, I swear, get rid of the screen and this is the best controller I've ever used, and the best one to play FPS shooters and strategy games. On top of that, you can finally use any controller, any Bluetooth headphones, any docking station that you want anything that you would be able to connect to a PC. And it can be your PC with this full desktop Linux mode. So it's so versatile. And one of the most interesting things is that it's just perfect for emulation. You can play Nintendo games on it, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, 1, Sega Genesis and other retro console games. If something won't run on SteamOS, you can install Windows on it, which I did after replacing the storage. And in that regard, Steam Deck is very repair friendly. You can open this up, replace anything you want, and there's an easy guide for it and official replacement parts on iFixit website. So it's so unique and it's like a combination of many devices in one. And there's two versions of Steam Deck. The main difference between them is the screen. The first Steam Deck has 6Hz 7-inch IPS panel. The OLED version has 90Hz 7.4-inch OLED HDR panel. And the top versions of both of them has anti-glare coating, which I prefer more because it doesn't reflect my face or something else when I play games. As far as LCD versus OLED, of course OLED is better. It has HDR, true black, more vibrant colors and is faster. But LCD Steam Deck still looks good. And just for example, I gave LCD Steam Deck and then OLED to my friend to try. She's a casual gamer and not tech savvy and she could not tell the difference between IPS and OLED until we got them side by side. So I still recommend the LCD version if you're tight on budget or a casual gamer. You won't be disappointed just because of the screen. Now, other improvements of the OLED are not as obvious at first glance, but there is a lot of them. New energy efficient processor, new battery and upgraded RAM give you a huge better life increase and more stability in games, sometimes even a couple more frames per second. Slightly improved sticks, trackpads and louder speakers are also a nice bonus. And what surprises me is that Valve actually lowered the price for it, it's just crazy. These all small improvements together make it the most impressive and polished mid-generation upgrade I've ever seen. It is now the definitive edition of Steam Deck. Now let's dive deeper into the performance. I think that Steam Deck is well balanced between the battery life it gives you as a mobile device and the actual performance. It's much more powerful than the Switch. So if you're thinking of a handheld to play some cross-platform games like Hogwarts Legacy, Fallout or Skyrim, then definitely get the deck for sure. Compared to Windows handhelds though, like Asus ROG Ally and Lenovo Legion Go, Steam Decks fall short in terms of raw power. Steam Deck runs at a maximum of 15 watts, whereas Legion Go and ROG Ally go up to 30 watts. But what does it mean? Here are some results from my test. Red Dead Redemption 2, a pretty heavy game for all of these consoles, runs at around 60 FPS on ROG Ally and Legion Go. This is the lowest in-game preset and no upscaling. On Steam Deck you have around 30 FPS, so you have to turn on the upscaling feature to increase the performance. However, you should understand that high performance comes at a cost of battery life. Playing high demanding games, Windows handhelds may last just around an hour of playtime. And to get the maximum 30 watts, they must be connected to the power source. So, in my experience playing some platformers and non-demanding games, I get the same performance on Steam Deck, plus a lot more battery life. But where Steam Deck truly shines 
is emulation. It is the most easy to use device for emulation I've had. You have a huge community that helps each other. You have the EmuDeck application that gets all popular emulators in one place and it's easy to install games with it. In my experience, all games that are older than PlayStation 2 era, such as Sega Genesis, NES, PS1, run with no problems. And sometimes I have minor lags and frame rate drops on PlayStation 2 games. PlayStation 3, on the other hand, has a lot of performance issues. However, there are still a lot of PS3 games that run well, you just have to google how a game you want to emulate runs on Steam Deck. As far as Nintendo emulation, games that are older than Nintendo Switch run super well on Steam Deck. But new games have bad performance. Because this whole idea of emulation is basically illegal, Nintendo went with a lawsuit on one of the most popular open source emulators of the Switch and now it's discontinued and I cannot show you how it works. But I tried it and in my experience playing Mario Kart, Metroid and Animal Crossing they run perfectly fine. But The Last Zelda and Kirby had bad performance and visual glitches. So for this reason Steam Deck could not replace my Nintendo Switch. But this might work for you. I also wanted to try Windows on Steam Deck, primarily to play some games I cannot play with SteamOS like Valorant or Call of Duty. In addition, I wanted to use my Xbox Game Pass library. I even enjoyed this experience for some time, but I won't install Windows on my OLED. You see, apart from losing all of the benefits of SteamOS like slip function and nice interface, you get a lot of bugs and problems. Valve even gave us official drivers for Windows, so it was quick and easy to install. But when I got Ally and now Legion Go, I realized that they're just better at dealing with Windows. At least they have to. Valve, on the other hand, is focusing only on SteamOS. They're constantly working on its improvement, and we get tons of updates each week. Right now, using Steam Deck with SteamOS is almost as easy as using Xbox, PlayStation or Nintendo console. And I cannot say the same about Windows handhelds. There is no proper slip function, the motion controls won't work in many games, and sometimes to get the controls work you need to download third-party software like Handheld Companion, and it still won't be as awesome as the controls of the Steam Deck. The stock applications like Armory Crate and Legend Vantage are just bad laggy, don't provide you all of the functions you would need. So I think the main problem of this Windows handhelds is that even if you love the hardware, the form factor, the specs, performance, controls, it's still a problem to enjoy it. You have to be ready to troubleshoot and find solutions that work for certain games and don't work for others. Yes, there is sometimes problems to run some games on Steam Deck too, but at least you have a huge community and you have websites like ProtonDB where you can see ratings of how certain games run on the deck, as well as their common problems and solutions. In addition, the software is not the only problem of Windows handhelds. RGLI, for example, has this problem with the SD card slot that burns your SD card and there is no touchpad that could be quite useful. Legend Go, for example, has these awful speakers that face upwards and these back buttons that you accidentally press while playing. Yeah, Steam Deck is also not perfect, I have complaints. First, not every game in Steam Shop is playable and these compatibility badges mean nothing. Sometimes verified games have awful performance and many games labeled unsupported run just fine. Thankfully, we have the ProtonDB website and Valve has an amazing refund policy with which you can return any game if you play it less than 2 hours. Second, because it's a Linux-based console, many games with built-in anti-cheat system like Fortnite or Call of Duty will not run on SteamOS. And third, Steam Deck cannot download games while in sleep mode. Now back to the positive things. What I like about Steam Deck is that it replaced me a PlayStation Portal. It basically works the same. For that you download an app called Chiaki, then connect your console and it works flawlessly. I'll drop the guide on how to do this in the description below. Yeah, other consoles except for the Nintendo Switch can do this too, but again, inside of the SteamOS it is just more convenient. Now to conclude. You see Steam Deck is an amazing device, it does what it should do and it does it well. On the spectrum between a computer and a console, Steam Deck is closer to the console experience, with a lot of benefits from PC world. Yes, it still could not replace my Nintendo Switch, but Steam Deck is in many other ways much better. If I would have to choose just one handheld and I wouldn't care about Nintendo exclusives, that definitely would be Steam Deck. Out of all these handhelds, Steam Deck has the best battery life, the best controls and the best support from developers. It's more comfortable to hold in hands and it's just cheaper.
If in my review of the Xbox Series X I said that's a great compliment to PC, well, I think Steam Deck is even better because most of the PC players use Steam anyway. And after comparing RG Ally and especially Legion Go, I realized that Steam Deck is more polished and a refined product than Windows handhelds. So I certainly can recommend it. Both of them. If you have extra money, get the OLED. If not, LCD Steam Deck is still a good option. That's about it. Thank you for watching. If I didn't mention something, just ask me in the comments. And have a great day. See you. Bye.